In this video, we're going to be sharing with you my top five defensive playbooks for Madden 23. What's good, guys? My name is Cody. Just want to let you know that if you are looking to get better at Madden, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and just allows you to know whenever we release new videos. We post new tips every single day to help people get better at the game. So if you're looking to get better, like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Now, I wanted to do a top five defensive playbooks formation, and I really wanted to talk about kind of some of the meta things that you're going to be seeing on defense this year. As the year progresses, what are some of the shifts that might be happening in competitive Madden? So really excited to break this down. So coming in at number five um, out of my top five defensive playbooks is uh, we're going to take a look here at the, uh, let's see, the Steelers playbook. I think this is the number five playbook. And the main reason that I'm putting this at number five is because of the nickel uh, the nickel package here. You see you have two four, you have two four double mug, triple, but you also have some nice little uh, dime sets as well as this 3-4 Cub. I think that this 3-4 Cub, actually, if there ever becomes a running meta, this uh, Trio Sky Zone Stink Pinch have always been really, really good run defenses. So the Steelers is going to come in at number five. They do have some unique stuff that they do uh, within their playbook. Now, our number four playbook that I wanted to break down here for defense is actually going to be the 46 playbook. Now, I'm putting this at the number four. Um, this could be higher, but the main reason that I'm putting this at the number four playbook is because of the fact that 3-3 Cub, we just haven't seen this be super dominant, at least at this point so far this season. All right, it's been okay, but you really haven't seen a ton of people gravitate towards this formation. And so I think that this might might be the year that we don't see this be the top defense that is ran uh, by every competitive player in the community. So that's just something to think about. The fact that 3-3-5 three, three, uh, three, three, wide or 3-3 three, 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 three cub um, is not as good as it used to be. Could be a reason why the 46 playbook is going to take a little bit of a backseat to some other playbooks. They do still have a really, really good defense. They've got um, $3-2, uh, which is the dollar three two six, which this is going to be uh, one of the best defenses that you'll see all year. It's really, really good this year year um this might honestly be the best year for dollar that we've seen in recent memory this is a really good madden for the dollar 326 okay so just something to know it also has my favorite defense in the game the big nickel over g i think the big nickel over g is the most underrated defense in madden 23 um the edge pressure is incredible the sheds are really really good you can also combine that with all of the match coverages if you want to check out my full four set or uh, my full big nickel over g defensive ebook make sure you're on our patreon page our patreon members get access to all of my madden ebooks offensive and defensive as well as all the updates to those and any exclusive tips that we release on the patreon which we have released several so far this year if you want to sign up for the patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up the link is down in the description below uh, so if you guys want to uh, you can check that out uh, but the big nickel is my favorite formation um, but again we can get it from other other plays and then the, uh, the the main reason why i wanted to put this in here is i actually think that the 46 bear under is not a terrible defense this year um and not, it's never really been a terrible defense but it's not been like it's been a little weak against the pass but with how good man-to-man -man is this lb dogs blitz and cover one you could kind of go between some of these things even though it's a super simple formation i do think that this actually has some merit this year as being one of the better uh blitzing formations three four bear i will say um, it's not as dominant as it has been if you're looking for a primary blitzing defense and because they did kind of change this formation a little bit. So um, it still is really good, but there is some weaknesses to the 3-4 bear that didn't exist in previous years. So, you know, it's okay, but not as good as it used to be. 4-6 normal has kind of like disappeared. A lot of people aren't using this, but this is actually a really good blitz this year. You can use the play rush outside. There's some cool setups that you can do to kind of create this. And you could, the beauty of the 46 normal is it has the speed package with, built within it so that you can get uh, better personnel at that position. So coming in at number three on our playbook list, I'm going to show you two here. Um, we're going to take a look at the Cincinnati Bengals defensive playbook. So the Bengals defensive playbook, I think, is actually really, really good. Um, you're going to see here it's got a couple things that I really like. So it's got the 46 normal, like we just talked about, the speed package. It's got some cool stuff with 4-3. Um, this 4-3 over, I believe it's the 4-3 over, or it might have been the 4-3 over solid. The 4-3 oversets this year, this one right here, this this is actually a really good formation. Um, you can do some really interesting things. 
uh, pressure wise with this one and then you do have the wide nine with the with the match coverages as well if you wanted to try that out so there's a lot of good four three sets it's also got dime normal dollar three two six nickel normal and then i did want to do a quick little plug here this nickel wide this year is really really underrated it's one of the better defenses in the game that most people really haven't even probably bothered to take a look at the pressure is insane the sheds are insane out of this and it does have the ability to play some match coverage within the uh within the formation which is really really nice so that is uh coming in at our number three the Bengals. an honorable mention that i was going to mention here um there's really two the seahawks and the patriots so the main reason that i wanted to mention the patriots is because if you like i keep doing offense dang it um if you like to run this 4-3 even defense the 4-3 even defense is really good again, and the, the Tampa 2 is in here. Um, you're going to find that this is the only four, only playbook that does have the Tampa 2 out of 4-3 even 6-1. You also have within the Patriots playbook the nickel 3-3-5 odd, which is really, really good. It's not as good this year as it was last year, uh, but it is really, really good. And then um, you do have this Dime Sugar Week, which is a really underrated formation, very good blitzing set. It's basically 4-3, even 6-1, but you have Dime personnel of a little bit better coverage against those heavy passing sets. And they do have a really underrated quarters, their quarter 1-3-7, which is a really, really good formation as well. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the Patriots defense. And then if you are if you do like to run 2-4-5 odd, the Buccaneers playbook is something that you can take a look at. I didn't put it in my top five list, but you really, I mean, it's a, it's definitely an honorable mention because of just the fact that 2-4-5 odd, if 2-4-5 odd is good this year, this is a good playbook. If 2-4-5 odd is not good, it's not a good playbook. So um, you mainly go to this playbook for the 2-4-5 odd, and it is pretty solid this year, um, you know, but I just think there's better formations this year than 2-4-5 odd. So that's why I, I didn't really focus on that for this year. See, and a lot of similarities with kind of the primary sets that I'm looking for is some type of nickel, some type of dollar that is really effective. And that's going to bring us to our number two. And I, I am really toying with this being the number one, but um, at least at this point in the meta, this is going to be the number two. The number two defensive playbook in Madden 23 is the Baltimore Ravens. And the reason why this is the number two playbook is because a couple things. You have 4-4 split, which is a really good you know uh, run defense and edge pressure defense. You've got 3-4 bear, so solid there. They just have a lot of options here at the nickel. You see we've got nickel 2-4, nickel 2-4 double mug, 3-3 three, three cub, 3-3 three, three odd, triple. So you have five different nickel sets here. They're all really, really effective. Um, you still have that 3-3-5 three, three, wide, if you will. Um, the nickel triple is really underrated. It's a great pressure defense. But then the beauty of this is really these these sets right here within dime. Um, this 1-4-6, 2-3-6 will, by far, in my opinion, uh, really at least tied for a close second with dollar for being one of the better ways to blitz this year um, and have really good coverage but then this formation is the most underrated formation i think next to big nickel over g and i did do a mini ebook on this or mini scheme on our patreon for our patreon members uh, but this right here is a really good formation and the primary reason i really value this is number one it has the best the, the ability to get um, the best sheds in the game specifically by using the edge threat abilities on the outside but the other reason why i like this formation is this play slant zone two um, if i can find it here this right here basically turns this formation into an incredible blitzing set and then you also have all of the match coverages uh, from you know cover four palms to cover three seam cover three buzz uh, cover six invert cover six show two cover nine show two press scores one of the only formations in the game next to big nickel over g that has everything that you need from a coverage perspective to be successful and also everything you need from a blitzing perspective so i really value the Dal the baltimore uh, ravens defensive playbook for primarily this formation but also the fact that we can combine this formation with like a nickel triple which you only see See that in the Ravens and Steelers playbook and nickel triple is insane this year um, with the nickel blitz the nickel blitz is really really good okay so that is our number two and then um, for our number one defensive playbook in Madden 23 it is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs playbook and this playbook it just has it just has everything, man. It's got 4-3, even 6-1. It's got nickel 3-3 with the double loop blitz out of LB Blizz 0. 
Um, it's got nickel over, nickel normal is what it used to be called. This formation is super good, uh, really good sheds, really good pressure from this formation. This is also a really good run defense. The one problem that I don't, and the reason I don't run nickel normal, at least right now, is because they don't have all the match coverages. They just have cover four quarters and cover six. You actually won't find a nickel formation that does have all of the all of the match coverages except for Big Nickel. Big Nickel is the only nickel personnel set that does have all of the coverages that you need to be successful and does have great personnel, balanced personnel to be able to stop the run and stop the pass. And in my opinion, it also has the best blitzes in the game. Uh, that's why we did our first ebook on Big Nickel over Gina. Again, if you want to check that out, make sure that you join the Patreon down below. You can get access to everything that way, but you have that. And then just to top it all off, you have Dime Normal and you have Quarter Normal and you have dollar three two six um so this format this playbook literally has like 90 percent of what the current meta is like 90 percent of what people run online this playbook has it all and that's really what you want in a defensive playbook you want to find a playbook that has all of the different formations that you're looking for typically speaking most like the nickel three three in the Chiefs playbook is probably going to be the same as the nickel 3-3 in the multiple defense, right? So that is just kind of a little bit of word to the wise. But I really like the Chiefs playbook this year. And I kind of go honestly between the Chiefs and the Ravens personally. Um, and it's just if I'm going to run 2-3-6 or if I'm going to run big nickel. But, guys, I would really encourage you to check out our Patreon if you're looking to get better at the game. Um, our defensive ebook has been sending insane pressure all year long. And if you want to learn how to do that and also how to master all the match coverage which we did a full ebook just teaching match coverage how it works how to adjust out of it how to use her out of it how to uh, use the match coverages when and why to use them against certain formations the best formations in the game i would really encourage you to get into the patreon that way you get access to all of that material and it's only ten dollars to sign up and i really believe it's going to make you better at madden Thank you guys for watching the video, and those are our top five defensive playbooks. If you'd like to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below, and hopefully we'll see you guys over at the Patreon page.